Hey guys, so this morning I had my metabolic test ran at the wellness center because if you guys watched my video last week, you know I had the body composition test and what the results were from that. And so today I had my appointment for the metabolic test. I went in at 7.30 fasting, you know, because you can't drink anything but water, you can't eat because all of that stuff affects your resting metabolism. And what this test does is determines how many calories you burn at rest. Then incorporated with your activity, it determines how many calories you should be eating a day to be at your maximum performance and to reach your goals. Well, my goal is to lose weight. So of course they incorporated a calorie deficit that would allow me to help to be healthy while I lost one to one and a half pounds per week and still be at my optimal nutrition range. So you get the test and then they run the results and you go back later and pick them up. I was fortunate that they had an opening in the one o'clock class. So I was actually able to get my results same day. Apparently that doesn't typically happen. I'm lucky that way. So I go back at one o'clock and I get my results and I find out, first of all, I guess it's a good thing that I have a faster normal metabolism. What that means is that according to the sheet that I'm looking at, the results, a normal metabolism for the average person is between burning between 1346 and 1784 calories. At rest, I burn 1736. So I am on the higher end of normal. When they put in my activity level, how many days a week I exercise, and I made a mistake, I forgot to tell them I have a step counter and that I get anywhere between five and 10,000 steps a day, which would technically put me in a little different category. Um, they put all of that stuff in. They deducted my calorie deficit for me to lose weight. And I have found out I don't eat enough food. At the activity level of lifestyle of sedentary, which is between three and 4,000 steps a day, which is what most people do, I should be eating 1,777 calories. I don't eat that much. On a typical day, I eat between 1,500 and 1,550. If we go out to eat, I'm still trying to find a healthy item on that menu, on that day, I might get 1,700. This says, eat no less, and that's in big capital letters, than 1,777 calories a day at a sedentary lifestyle. Like I said, I already get more than 4,000 steps every day because I volunteer and I'm always doing something. So my lifestyle really isn't sedentary. So I told them that and we kind of looked at some numbers and because of that, because they had to kind of reevaluate everything and they didn't give me a new printout, they just told me. I, in all honesty, taking my step tracker into account, should not be eating any less, no less than 1,800 calories a day. I've got to eat more. And I know, like they said, they're like, well, that's a good problem to have. But honestly, I feel like I already eat so much because I do, I eat every two to three hours. So I'm gonna have to change it up a little bit. I'm gonna have to eat less broccoli, which has fewer calories and eat something else, eat something higher calorie. Um, I'm gonna have to find me a higher calorie range of vegetables and fruits. I'm just gonna have to. Um, and with changing the calorie count that I can eat, I'll be eating more carbs now. So yeah, that's what I found out today. And I mean, I'm really glad I did because if I eat more and my body can work 
at its optimum level, then I should start to see even better results than the ones I'm seeing with my current nutrition and training program. So I'm excited that I found this out because I need to know this so I can implement these new changes. But at the same time, it's just kind of like, wow, I have to eat more food. So yeah, I told you guys I would give you an update. Here's the update. If you have a wellness center in your area that offers these kinds of tests that will test and track your metabolism and you know, figure out your exact body composition, which is the one I had last week. I urge you to do it because now that I know this information, I can really implement changes that are going to benefit me because I was seriously thinking to myself, like I'm not losing weight like I want to, I need to cut my calories. I don't even want to know what would happen to my body and how tired I would be if I cut my calories back more now that I know this. So yes, I urge you, if you have the capabilities where you are, get this done. Knowledge is power. Learn what you can about your body so that you can work at your most optimum level. All right, guys, I have the stress class next week. If I learn anything beneficial there, I will let you know. And until then, I might vlog. I don't know. I haven't had anything exciting going on to vlog about lately. But if I make any more videos, I'll post them up for you guys. Bye.